Of the hundreds of millions of contactors purchased each year, the overwhelming majority are a placement for failed contactors. Electricians, HVAC technicians, and engineers have always known that the number one cause of contactor failure is contact arcing, but few of them had witnessed the destructive forces of arcing firsthand. Today we'd like to share a video demonstration of what goes on inside your power contactors each time they complete a cycle. We think you'll be surprised by the damage that arcing inflicts on contact surfaces even after just a few cycles. We also believe that you'll be impressed by the powerful, protective ability of no-spark arc suppressors. These patented, solid-state devices suppress at least 99.9% .9 of the contact arcing energy, which keeps your contact surfaces looking new and enables your power contactors to last at least 10 times longer. Here's how we structured this demonstration, beginning with the following key components. One Hobart arc welder, one robust Fuji three-phase power contactor, one universal GG XAC 1F480 no spark arc suppressor, and one Fastec TS3 high speed video camera. Our demonstration plan called for using one leg of this contactor to demonstrate how no spark suppresses arcing energy, the opposite leg to demonstrate the destructive ability of unsuppressed arcing, and the middle leg to serve as a reference contact which would only be subjected to the mechanical forces of the cycling contacts with no current passing through them. In phase one, we connected our single phase no spark arc suppressor across one leg of the power contactor and then connected the arc welder directly into the same leg. We set the arc welder at 235 amps, the maximum allowable current rating of our no spark arc suppressor. We then set up our high-speed camera and ran the contactor through the following contact cycles. One cycle, plus 10 additional cycles, plus 100 additional cycles, plus 1,000 additional cycles, for a total of 1,111 cycles, all of them suppressed by a no-spark arc suppressor. We captured video of the contact cycles, and after each waypoint, we shot close-up images of the contact surfaces. In phase two of our demonstration, we removed the no-spark arc suppressor and connected the Hobart arc welder directly into the opposite unused leg of the power contactor. We left the Hobart arc welder at the same 235 amp setting and ran the contactor through the same number of operations. One cycle, plus 10 additional cycles, plus 100 additional cycles, plus 1,000 additional cycles. For a total of 1,111 cycles, this time without arc suppression. As you can see, the difference in contact damage between suppressed and unsuppressed arcing is dramatic. <coughs> In this video, you've witnessed the power of contact arcing and the cycle-by-cycle -cycle destruction that it inflicts on contact points. Perhaps most importantly, you've also discovered the universal no-spark arc suppressor, a proven, patented means of suppressing 99.9% .9 of contact arcing energy. By suppressing this energy, you'll also extend the electrical lifetime of your power contactors by 10 times or more. No spark ended the violent arcing of a 235 amp arc welder, and if it can do that, it will certainly protect the contacts that operate your motors and keep them looking new for a very long time. Learn more about arcing and no spark arc suppressors at arcsuppressiontechnologies.com.